What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody thrilling in today my people? Welcome back to another video my people. I'm approaching a month. Alright? I'm approaching a month. This is my time to take off. I've been obedient to the Most High God. Okay? I've been obedient to the Most High God. I've been in my Bible. I've been going to Bible study. I've been going to church. This is a banana smoothie. It's just like three bananas I just wanted this because it give me energy right a lot of people be eating I mean be drinking coffee and like energy drinks the birds is going crazy but this right here if you got pain in your arms pain in your body drink banana smoothie or you know soreness if you low on energy this is the real energy right here this is all you need you don't need monsters. You don't need energy drinks like Red Bull and all of that sugar free. No. Banana. This is all you need. The topic of today's video, right? The Bible plus celibacy and semen retention. The Bible, yo, if you're a man of God, if you are a righteous person, if you live holy, if you do your best <clears throat> to live holy, the Bible speaks about retention speaks about fleeing from sexual immorality the bible plus celibacy go hand in hand in the bible god wants every every man every woman to flee from sexual immorality right so that means we got to retain our sexual energy in the bible there's a scripture that i've been studying and i i love because it goes hand in hand to why i feel like retention is the best thing so the retention right the same retention i me personally i like celibacy more because I believe that celibacy is better just because you're just refraining from all forms of release. Any intercourse you're refraining from, um, you know, orgasm, you're not doing any of that, and you're not getting any old sex, none of that. I know they be flagging, so I don't, I don't wanna, I have to be careful, I have to keep it clean. When you do semen retention, some men still be holding in their sexual energy and they still be fornicating. That's edgy. And to me, I think that might mess up what the body is supposed to do. We're supposed to only release for procreation. So when we go, 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 and we hold back, I, like, I don't know if that's healthy. I don't really think that's healthy. And I was the one saying that. I was the main man saying, like, when I get married, I'm going to be retaining. I'm going to be holding back. But I don't know if that really is healthy. Because like I said, God intended it to be within the marriage. The way that I've been feeling, the things that I've been experiencing, I got so much videos to talk about. I got a couple days off work, so I'm going to really be like banging out these videos so I could get this information to a lot of brothers that's retaining and, and trying to figure out what's going on to get them prepared for what's about to happen when you start retaining. But everybody's experience is different. But what I've been experiencing has been crazy. You see hair on me, I was practicing cutting my own hair see when you retain you start learning how to do other things because you got the energy now but i was trying to cut my own hair and trying to learn how to cut my sides i'm growing out the top of my hair but the sides and the back i like to be cut i was doing a little something to have my brother help me too but it's whatever but i had to do rag it up because it was looking a little crazy because I ain't, I ain't have a shape up you know but yes there's so many scriptures in the Bible where it talks about retaining and being celibate, waiting till marriage. It talks about that. And even if you are waiting till marriage or you're not waiting till marriage, you, sh you need to be refraining from sexual immorality. That's, that's, what, that's God's will. It's in the Bible. I'm going to pull up the scripture. Read the scripture. See what I'm saying? Well, that literally is God's will. God's will is that we as men and even women, that we refrain from sexual immorality. Jesus is my Lord and Savior, you know what I mean? But some people be doing their own thing. This is why the world is exactly how it is now. Because people doing their own thing. People, oh, I am a God. I'm this, I'm that. There's only one God. I will never. Do you know how egotistic and arrogant you have to be? And how cocky you have to be to call yourself a God? It's just, it's just arrogant. Jesus is the one and only. The Alpha and the Omega. He literally came to earth to give us this gift and say, peace, I, now I gotta go. Because in order for me to give you this peace that I leave with you, I need to leave. I need to, I need to do this sacrifice for y'all 
so y'all can a new covenant with the most high god and then once i do that whoever shall believe in me shall have everlasting life it is impossible for me to be on this journey without god it's impossible for me to get on streaks without god it's impossible to speak about retention and celibacy without including god when he's the one and create he's the creator that made this the one and only he created all of this he knew what he was doing god knew when he was making all of us that people will start fornicating falling to sexual sin he knew that satan would literally kill steal and destroy crazy there's so many verses i'm gonna drop some more verses right now see so this is proof and a lot of times the reason why us men cannot get on this journey is because we're so filled with lust we've been lustful since young because i know me i literally was i was dealing with lust since a young young age super young i wasn't fapping or anything or fornicating but i literally was exposed to the adult sites movies that i've watched growing up had sexual sins going all through around and they was pushing this stuff most of the stuff in this world is going against god's will and going against god's commandments so it's it's, it's sickening this is why i take my righteousness and my holiness seriously now it's like no more i'm not even just doing retention for me it's not even about me it's the fact that i love god and if i love god i will literally keep his commands jesus said that if you love me you'll keep my commands people will know that you are my disciples based off how you love so that love that i give through the camera the love i give people naturally i'm a disciple of christ i do not want to disobey the most high god i don't want to disobey you know i don't i really don't I don't want to disobey Jesus because he was the perfect man, the perfect God. He was, like I said, man and God in one. I don't want to disobey the Most High God because he's been faithful to me. It's, it's time to be faithful to him. Meditating on the word day and night like, like it says in the scriptures. I speak on this because this is one of the best ways to stay connected to the most high god fleeing from sexual immorality and anything sexual that's the sanctification that's part of the sanctification i'm in a whole different headspace way more deeper into the scriptures and way more deeper into my walk with christ than i was back then waiting wait wait it's powerful to wait wait vagina not going nowhere digging sticks ain't going nowhere wait wait until god sends you your husband or your wife relax go a year of not sleeping around even if you're in a relationship go a year Be oh i gotta oh i forgot there's a video i gotta speak about too it's just sickening but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video you have any questions you have any thoughts that you want to leave in the comments feel free to do so let's converse let's let's keep this conversation going all right and until next time much love